Hello and welcome to this tutorial. I want to show you how you can embed Fiori applications in the subgui for Windows. What does it mean? Usually you have different choices to use the SAP system. You can use the subgui for Windows, but nowadays if you want to use Fiori applications you have to use a browser window and from there you can also, for example, create sales orders, but this means that the subgui for HTML will open and then you can use the transaction here. So what I want to do is I want to use the subgui for Windows. So I log into the S system here. So this is also S for HANA system and this is the normal screen, the easy access screen where I can go to transactions, for example create sales order. But what I do is I added a Fury dashboard button and when I click here then I have the Fury login screen embedded into the subgrid for Windows. On the right side you can also see that you can create some other elements that you can use but um, this is not the important point here. So there's another button now appearing here, Fury Login. So when I click here it will automatically put, uh, put the credentials and click the Log On button and also open some more screens and uh, go to goes to different Fiori applications. So this can take some time because the disadvantage of Fiori is that it's not the performance is not perfect. But when you have a S4 HANA system, then the data itself will load very fast. So here on the left side we have the Fiori dashboard that we also have when we log in with the browser. But we have some other views here, the sales orders with some charts and the sales order fulfillment issues with a table with different items and also the change sales document transaction that you can use here if you like but this is inside the browser so there are some restrictions and also it's the performance is not as good as the subway for Windows. But we can just, for example, change an order here and the good thing is that you can use this in multitasking so you can for example click here sales uh, order fulfillment and maybe go back here and so you have different data loading here and you can have different views and from the technical side it's not that complicated so you can use this screen editor here, a script editor and it's mainly the control command with the URL for the Fiori app or the start screen but you can also put in um, sometimes very long URL to go directly to a certain uh, view also with the also you can set the filters for example here I set by plant so this is, can also be encoded into the URL and what I do here is I have a Fiori login button and this login button will call a JavaScript function and this JavaScript function um, is actually not that complicated. The main thing here is that it's giving a reference to the control so uh, that it knows which browser window it should work with and then you can just use the normal JavaScript commands like get element by ID. Of course you have to know the idea. In this case you can go to the debugger in the Explorer and find out the uh, element ID or sometimes there's also a name that you can use. Then it will fill in the data and just click on the button. 
So after the login, the other views are being loaded because it's not possible to log in many times. So if you are logged in in one browser window, you are automatically logged in in the other windows. So but this is not really a problem. And if you like, you can go to the what you see is what you get editor and rearrange the screens. Maybe you want to delete the whole thing here and just move this this side so you can just play around with that or you can just create another control window and by default this is just Google So it's very easy to just create elements and create a dashboard here.